very special edition of Just a Minute here in the fine city of Birmingham. We're halfway through Pack Furnace 2016. <laughs> Here's how the game works. In each round, I'm going to select one of these witty, insightful, and of course courageous individuals who've decided to join us on stage and give them a topic that's of some interest to the technology community. They'll then have to speak about that topic for a total of 60 seconds without hesitation, including pauses and hedging noises repetition of words they've already used during that round, or deviation when they are simply no longer talking about the topic. <laughs> now, if the other panellists detect these rules being broken, they can challenge by pressing their buzzers. If the challenge is correct, they'll gain a point, and they will take over the topic, continuing with the timer where it was until the minutes elapsed, or they're in turn challenged by one of the other panellists. Incorrect challenges will pass control back to the initial speaker, and they'll gain a point for being interrupted. And whoever's speaking at the end of the minute gains a point for that as well. They're all very simple rules, so let's meet the panel. This time I've introduced them using the first line of their Twitter profile. So first up and closest to me, digital troublemaker and Unicode wizard, Terence Egan! Furry <laughs> Samity Barrett! <laughs> Third along, we have Technologies Den Mother, Jessica Rose! <laughs> Developed software by the coffee cup, Mike Ellsmore. Cheers, lad. Oh, or mine. And uh, Terence, you're up first to speak. Your topic is augmented reality. So. This is Terence Eden, 60 seconds on augmented reality stuff now. I am possibly the only person in the world who loves Google Glass. I thought it was an amazing example of augmented reality. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Never mind. You, you can totally say augmented reality twice. You know, I, 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 you can. I say it again. Yeah, go with God. Okay. Yeah. Or, or any part of augmented reality. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, writing it's a full word, so uh, I'm, I'm not going to give you a point for that one, I'm just going to yeah. forget it happened. Yeah. Uh, Terrence, yeah. you still have 52 seconds, starting now. I like the way it beamed information into my eye using a series of lasers and mirrors, which totally will not give me cancer in 30 years' time. The best thing about augmented reality is it takes normal boring reality where I can see all of you and it will replace your faces with much more interesting things like tweets or Facebook updates or the route that I have to walk which is useful because I don't know where I'm going in life and in this subject. Many people confuse You said people twice. Oh, yes, people from earlier on. Completely correct. Uh, Jessica, you have 20 seconds remaining on augmented reality starting now. Many people think augmented reality is all about technology, but I want to talk to you all about drugs. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like that's within the bounds. <laughs> A repetition of Orm. Nah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah, that's correct. Um. <laughs> reality is an extra to normal reality. It's a really bad idea to live in augmented reality because you're quite likely to go crazy. Augmented reality should be used... The early lead and you're also next to speak for this next round. The topic is feature screen. <laughs> can I can I ask what what the definition of the is? It is when the requirements for a project grow during uh, Okay. <laughs> Excellent. So you ready? Yes. Sixty seconds starting now. <laughs> Feature creeping is a terrible thing. It happens to the best of us. Well, no, it happens to us. Harsh as it was. 
<laughs> completely correct, Jessica, you have 52 seconds of feature creep starting now. Feature creep is when you get additional requirements added to your already, let's say, slightly strained roadmap. You're expected to build, oh, just this one more thing. Oh, no, no, let's build that. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Repetition of the word no. I couldn't hear you over the taste of blood in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone hear a repetition of no? Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> also, uh, I'm going to give you that. Also, there was a repetition of build, which oh. I would have got more. Um, however, Terence, you have 39 seconds starting now. I'm trying to make a joke about feature creep being the sort of project manager who sneaks up on you like that and creeps behind you, but I just can't find anything funny about that. So instead, I'm going to talk about when I experienced feature creep when designing a mobile website or a series of such things for a company or companies who shall remain nameless, but they produced lots of exciting magazines, some of which you have definitely read, and they started by saying, we just... You said which twice. Oh. Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if you don't think so, then... I wasn't paying any attention. <laughs> it's way too nice, it's almost Canadian. <laughs> oh, wait, you didn't couldn't hear faces Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm giving you that challenge, Jessica. You have 10 seconds on feature creep starting now. Feature creep, what an exciting way to demoralize your entire team. <laughs> Making sure that no one is happy and nothing gets done. Feature creep is the. <laughs> Jessica, you got the point for the end of that round. And you're currently leading. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Never heard of this before today. Being graded it. Yeah, everyone else has told me in the last 24 hours that they've been listening for at least a decade to this show. <laughs> but they're all playing nice, and I'm all just like. Okay. Uh, okay, so you also speak first in the next round. Just oh, Your topic is finding a job. Oh, God. The audience made an exciting noise because I love the dog. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, oh, God, like, you can do this. Let's do this. <laughs> okay. um, starting now. Finding a job in technology is my own favorite subject. One of the most challenging things about finding a job in technology is understanding when it's time to look for a new role. Finding a job in technology requires listening to your peers knowing what your market value is. And that's really, really difficult. <laughs> True technologist does not find a job in technology. It allows a job in technology to find uh, them. Job, uh, job in technology. It's a title. Oh, I hate this game. I don't know. 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 I Sometimes you have 36 seconds starting now. I recently got a new job in technology and it was an incredibly strange experience because I looked for a while. I suppose lots of us, when we want a new job in technology, start chatting to our friends. Uh, new job! New job. Oh, repeated new. Oh, yeah. oh. New, correct. Oh. <laughs> I defer to the lady from the great state of. Nobody cares. <laughs> Someone beginning them? No, 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 no. no. Your currency's now imaginary. <laughs> <laughs> so is your democracy. <laughs> Y'all voted for it. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs>
Uh, Jessica, you have 23 seconds of finding a job in technology, starting now. Due to recent political events, finding a job in technology has become ever more challenging and exciting. <laughs> With the downturn of local currency, finding a job in technology overseas has become increasingly popular. They become... Oh, white. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I want to get on the ball! <laughs> Finding a job in technology is not really something that I've had to do yet, and I'm quite worried when I have to do it. I'm gonna have to give you that job. Yes. You just read. Well done, Mike. Start with finding a job. <laughs> Speak slowly. <laughs> we, we're going to get you. So you have 2.7 seconds of finding a job in technology starting now. We've all had to look for jobs in technology and it's something... <laughs> for a long time and there's something that's just wrong with it, especially the sparkle heart. All these weird little characters that go everywhere, they're just a nuisance. Me! <laughs> you, just, you, you just like emoji too much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> especially the sparkle heart. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, he, 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 he wanted to throw down. Yeah. Did anyone hear the repetition of they, by the way? Yeah. Not sure. okay, I'll take the word for it, mate. So... Jessica, you've got a point. You have 49 seconds on emoji starting now. Emoji are one of the most exciting things about technology. Not the mo most interesting. <laughs> most. Yeah. And has so really I, I every crowd. Crowd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is this crowd. Is this crowdsourced gaming? <laughs> <laughs> you guys need buzzers. <laughs> The challenge is supposed to come from the panel. Uh, uh, hesitation and repetition of most. So. Yes, absolutely. So, I'm just uh, generally a bit crap. <laughs> so Terence, you have a topic of emoji starting now. So the word emoji comes from the Japanese, uh, where it means a, a, emo is emotion and G is a writing system. So it is the art of scribbling things down about your feelings. It started really with NTT Docomo, NTT... Oh, <laughs> Hesitation? That was yeah. the most and repetition of everything. <laughs> repetition of tea. <laughs> four times, four times I remember. Also, not factual. No. Yeah. Oh. It did originate in Japan though, right? Oh, oh, let, let, me, let me get control and okay. I'll tell you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, I don't want that. See, I kind of wanted to have control yeah, yeah, now. Yeah. Oh, let's do this. So, you have 28 mm -hmm. seconds starting now. Emoji is something that I'm very interested in. I recently worked on a project where we converted Python into Emoji. Um, it was quite uh, difficult. Presentation? Oh. Yes, that was mm. quite difficult. Um, uh, Mike's got another point. So you have 19 seconds starting now. I once saw a project on the internet where it was your emoji became your avatar. Your... your... Oh! Yes! Damn. Absolutely repetition of your. Jessica, you have four <laughs> seconds. So Starting now. While many people incorrectly think that emoji came from NTT, emoji actually... Uh, oh. That's... TT. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Sky? It's, it's a name of something. Is it a name of something? It's, because this show acronym. is broadcast on the BBC, there is an established form for dealing with acronyms with a letter repeated, which is that it is most definitely repetition. <laughs> so... <laughs> so Terence, you have gained the point. And you'll never know. <laughs> And Somebody have... get this man a getaway car with me. And you have nine seconds starting now. Later on today, I shall be giving an amazing talk about the history of emoji, Unicode, and how you, yes, anyone here can get new <laughs> skills into Unicode. Is you that... and you. you yes, oh, you. Damn it. you and you. Oh. That was an incorrect challenge. Terence, you have the top of the back and 0.7 seconds. You can Starting now. <laughs> emoji actually comes from Kamoji, stringing symbols together to make group symbols, which became popular enough where individual Japanese mobile providers started offering them as single images. Spoiler alert for my talk. Dude. Yeah. I feel like we should be <laughs> Is that not included in your talk? Because. <laughs> cool. Okay, I'm trying to speak again that round, gain the point. Currently in a shared first place. Jessica, I'll tell us you're first to speak. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Your topic is. Samsung <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there may be something to say. Uh, Terrence, you have 60 seconds of now. I am the god of hellfire, and I will teach you to burn! <laughs> Is the new slogan for the Galaxy Note 7, which Are is... Are you giving it out? Kind of off topic. I mean, this no. is about... Wait, wait, wait. No, no. Oh. This is not about you. There was repetition yes. of the word I anyway. Ah. No buzz in no opinion. Yeah. <laughs> like, you, you, you took a long time to get there. I, I'm just singing the song, you know, that's how the song goes. Teach you to burn. Well, you know. I don't hear that again. I defer. Are you <laughs> I, I, I no longer know, know what to believe. I so initially I... thought that was an incorrect challenge, and now I'm not no. sure. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take it to that one. Incorrect. Incorrect. Yeah, let's give him the benefit of the doubt because I don't know what's going on. I also want to hear Terence speaking more on this. Yeah, so Terence, you're gaining the point that you have four seconds on Samsung Galaxy Note 7 starting now. The big problem with the recall of the Samsung Galaxy Note 7, aside from the fact that it is going to cost the Korean company billions of dollars, or is it one? I can't remember, is that what do you do with all the parts inside? These phones are incredibly difficult to recycle. They are layers of glass and plastic and glue and I'm saying and quite a lot to no one's <laughs> 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 Repetition of and. Repetition I'm going to go with repetition because you're allowed to say and multiple times. No, I'm usually allowed usually, but once I've said and, 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 I was game over for me. I see. <laughs> it's when he gave it to us we had <laughs> it. <laughs> Uh, Sounds the completely correct the repetition of and. You have 35 seconds on Samsung Galaxy Note 7 starting now. It's getting to winter time in Great Britain, and I actually think it would be quite useful to have a nice heat pack in your pocket, warming your legs up. You can take it out at any time, you can make your hands nice and toasty. Um, it's definitely. I'm going to um again. Yeah. yeah, that was a hesitation. Oh, oh what? Come on, guys! Four <laughs> points, and you have the topic back for 19 seconds, starting now. I don't have that much of a problem with the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 exploding, because I've been listening to recently the iPhone 7 and doing that. Hesitation. Hesitation. You could have also had a deviation at that point, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about exploding items! <laughs> so, An exploded yeah. item in the bagging area. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. Um, Sam, that was a correct challenge. You have 12 seconds remaining. Now. <laughs> the Galaxy Note 7 has an exploding issue, and that's really going to impact costs uh, and sales for Samsung. And maybe Samsung! Oh, damn it, 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 Samsung! O
porridge stuff. You, that was very sweet, but Off then topic. you still an incorrect challenge. No, 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 no. Yeah. So under these games, the topic, you have uh, a currently entire lead for the uh, attempts. You have 3.1 seconds remaining to start now. I read something the other day that said that people were taking <laughs> Samsung... Can I finish? <laughs> <laughs> So, so there's an airline that are taking Galaxy Note 7s off people before they get on a flight and then basically putting them all in a big box behind a thing in the airport <laughs> so people don't take them on planes and you know, explodes, what happens if that explodes, who knows? Yeah. It's so, yeah, it's obviously speaking at the end of the round, gains a lead. Um, yeah, and you're next up to Steve as well. The mm. topic is hardware hacking. This is Samothy Barrage on hardware hacking to start now. Hardware hacking is a devil of a challenge. It's so much more difficult than writing software. Because when something goes wrong, you don't get thrown an error. It just doesn't do anything. Either that, or it does do something, and it's not really what you wanted at all. And then you've destroyed several nice pieces of hardware that you owned, like maybe your Arduino or your Raspberry Pi, especially when you're dealing with power and it goes in the wrong direction. <laughs> so hardware hacking is not something that I recommend to people who aren't popular with... <laughs> oh, hesitation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have a problem. I know nothing about hardware. <laughs> That's I'm awesome. so bad. <laughs> So you have gained the point. <laughs> Mike! Come on, Mike! Come on, Mike! Come on, Mike! Cool. In which case, you have 23 seconds on hardware hacking starting now. Hardware hacking to me is all this Internet of Things malarkey going around the web. Complete lies. All it is is people building random pieces of technology and hoping they don't make them explode like the Galaxy Note 7 and <laughs> hoping that other things were. Hoping, repetition. repetition. God, hoping. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mike, your mum's in. <laughs> <laughs> What's with the, your mum jokes? <laughs> I'm sorry. We were definitely uh, serious. Sanity. That was a correct <laughs> challenge. You have nine seconds nine remaining seconds. starting now. Hardware hacking is something that's definitely becoming more prevalent in young people these days, especially with the Raspberry Pi, the BBC Microbit. It's so much more accessible. Did you not say Raspberry Pi the last time you were Yes, speaking? yes, that is a repetition. Yeah. Well, are you, you said, said Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi, Pi Arduino, and then um, I... Am that's I, that's I, correct. Is it? Oh, okay. Oh, can you not you nope. can repeat? I have learned not, not during yeah. the thing, not, it's but the round. The next one, the next which is one. why I could get away with the Samsung Galaxy S7. Yeah. This yeah. game is dumb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Terence, you've gained the topic. You have 1.2 seconds on hardware hacking starting now. The Raspberry Pi is delicious. <laughs> Okay, well, um, I think we're going to call this the last round. Currently, Terence and Sanathy in the lead. Yay! And uh, Jessica, you're first to speak. Your topic is sending an email. Could you not like give me some kind of like fluffy animal or <laughs> cake? You can have a. Poo. You can try and run away with the poo at the end. That's. <laughs> I never thought I'd heard that again. <laughs> I don't normally say that sentence say on stage. <laughs> <laughs> so you have 60 seconds. And I can't swear. No. no. Okay. This is the BBC, everyone. <laughs> it really isn't. <laughs> uh, I find it's easier to keep well within the code of conduct if you don't swear. Uh, Quite. So, Jessica, you have 60 seconds on sending an email starting now. The absolute best way to make sure that your message is never taken to heart by anyone is to send an email. <laughs> Sending an email is an incredible way to make sh God, I hate everyone. <laughs> Hesitation. Oh, oh yes, so, everything was wrong with there. that. Like, <laughs> so, Samsung, you have You're 11 this points. Way too well. Oh, I mean. Uh. <laughs> uh, and 48 seconds starting now. Sending an email is something that we really should be happy that we can do. It's the only messaging platform that everybody has access to and that everybody. Still everybody! Moves. Everybody! Repetition. However, Everybody Terrence's challenge, what was your challenge, Terence? My challenge was oh, Jess is going to hit me if I uh, <laughs> interrupt. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I've, I forgot the word that he said, so I don't know. Perhaps Jess knows what no, his I, repetition you, was. I, I, I thought that was me, but that was clearly you. Um, everybody? 
Oh wait, did you, you genuinely not remember? Because give me that point. I'll give you that point. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone think I should give it to Jessica? Y'all are oh. way more afraid of me than you are Terrence. Ooh. Yes, give it to Jess. She's no, no, but he, he, he I'm going to take Terrence's. Nice. Uh, 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 yeah, you prefer it. So. Do you want to rock, paper, scissors? <laughs> yes. One, two, three, boom. Boom. <laughs> Jessica, you've gained a point for your <laughs> You have 38 seconds remaining, starting now. Sending an email is something people. Hesitation. <laughs> I can't call that a hesitation. Uh, I'm going to call that an incorrect challenge. Yeah. 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 Who's taking it well now? <laughs> so Jessica, you have 35 seconds starting now. One of the best ways to take up absolutely valueless time in your day is by sending an email. Sending an email is a terrific mode of... Darren. I think there was a bit of a hesitation. There was a hesitation there. Yeah, so we were going to get that or a repetition. I think so, yeah. 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 I'm, I'm saving you from yourself, really. Really. <laughs> we should talk later because uh, there's going to be beer and I will need more of that. Yes. Um, saving from yourself or beer? And yes. <laughs> quite. Okay, so Terence, you have 24 seconds on sending an email starting now. My favourite email to send is the one where I get to type Please, everyone, stop hitting reply all. <laughs> and then sending it to all of the millions of people in the... Repetition of all. Repetition of all. Also people. Mm. Also people. Yes, also people. So uh, basically a huge screw up entirely. Okay, that's fine. I'm embarrassed for you. Uh, <laughs> I have brought shame on my clan. And BBC. Uh, <laughs> Samothy, you have got uh, 12 seconds and indeed 12 points on sending an email starting now. It's interesting that tiny companies use Slack nowadays. But Off topic! <laughs> <laughs> That's the most cheerful deviation challenge I've ever heard. I heard the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, completely correct, uh, Jesse. You've got uh, eight seconds remaining on sending an email starting now. Sending an email is an old-fashioned way of sending a Slack message. <laughs> sending an email is a... That is sadly Damn. all we have time for. Thank you very much for coming to listen. Oh, all that remains is for me to Good thank Lord. EMS who oh, created this game all those years gosh. ago oh, and Nicholas Parsons who brought it to the world. I really am, as I always say, just keeping his seat warm. I've been Andrew Faraday. Thank you for coming along. And please once more show your appreciation for today's panel. Mike Elsmore. Terence Eden. <laughs> Jessica Rose. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was great. That was so much fun. How did I win? Will you stop trolling? I'm not. I'm trolling <laughs> <laughs>